Another edition of 100 Yards of Football is on deck. Vincent Turner explores one of the great ones today. A legendary series, a dominant linebacker at his position, and a preeminent one in the NFL during a career that spanned from 75 to 84 with the Houston Oilers. A consensus All-American out of Jackson State, six foot four, 241 pounds, four put four point six in the forty. Doctor Doom is on deck with Vincent Turner and one hundred yards of football. How y'all doing this morning? It's a fantastic time to be talking football this early, but boy, boy, boy. If you like the video today, please come in and share it. I surely appreciate it here on 100 Yards Football. As the gentleman, Mr. Bob Bass, just mentioned to y'all out there in social media land, my name is Vincent Turner. And special thanks to my producer, Mr. Logan Landers, for making it happen this morning here on 100 Yards Football. For further ado, let's talk about the young man on the screen. Back. When I was about 12, 13, 14 years old in my early years, Jackson State was a real powerhouse in the SWAT. And as I've told this story so many times, they also had a running back out of Columbia, Mississippi by the name of Walter Payton. And he was my father's favorite football player. But nobody knew about Robert Bazil. And the thing about Robert Bazil was this. He was 6'4". 240. He played in a 4-3 defense. But it was a young man down in Houston, Texas, by the name of Bob Phillips, who said, you know what, we're going to try something new in the 1975 season. We're going to go from a 4-3 to a 3-4. And that's when the 3-4 was built. That's when the outside linebacker position was built. That's when you had a linebacker that can rush the passer. But he had to be versatile. See, it's something about being a pioneer. The definition is a new line of thought. Robert Brazil was a new line of thought coming into the National Football League in 1975 out of Jackson State. And make no bones when he was there. See, people don't understand this. You see, in 73, everybody was wondering about Notre Dame on a college football level. Everybody was talking about USC, Richard Wood, Sam the Bam, Cunningham, Alabama, or Wayne Wheeler, Woodrow Lowe. But see, down in Jackson, Mississippi, they also had that smoke. During that time, Robert Brazil, Dan Reese, Leon Gray, Ricky Young, Charles James, Jackie Slater. Oakley, Pat, Pat Patton. See, all those guys played in the NFL. And see, even though Jackson State wasn't on the level of Notre Dame, USC, but I guarantee you, with Walter Payton being a part of that, they would have challenged a lot of teams on the real serious college football level. But getting back to Dr. Doom, Robert Bazile. He's from Mobile, Alabama. And as I always say, it's something in the water. Out of Vigo High School. Lord have mercy. See, I consider Mobile on the same level as the state of Mississippi. When you're talking about the talent that comes out of one area. And man, you're looking at Mobile, Alabama, where this young man is 6'4", 240, winning the first round. Where he came from, the neighborhood, Hank Aaron, Tommy Aaron, Willie Anderson, Willie McCovey, help me, Jesus, A.J. McCarron, Scott Hunter, Keith McCants, Sir Dedrick Marks, Willie Anderson, Lord have mercy, Nick Farley, Chris Samuel, Sherman Williams. Amos Otis, Heffrey Dixon. And if you want to go down the road about 30 miles, Foley, Alabama, Ken Stabler, and Julio Jones. See, those people that come out of Mobile, Alabama, they have a mission. And Robert Bazile, he's 6'4", 
he was always kind of guy that took the seat back. But when he was at Jackson State, everybody know he might have been the best player on the field, regardless of sweetness was on the field. And the nickname Dr. Doom. See, we knew about him in the SWAC, Tennessee State, Southern, Alcorn State, Mississippi Valley. We knew what was coming to the NFL. But the definition of Dr. Doom, he was a human wrecking ball, a tackling machine, nicknamed Kill Shot, held a play, and then think about his stats when he got to the National Football League. 1,281 tackles, 48 sacks, 147 games he played straight, never missed a game in 10 years. Skill set, sideline to sideline, A+. Plus. Oh, my God, speed, A+. Plus. Size, A+. Plus. Tackling ability, A+. Plus. Quick takeoff, A+. Plus. Key and diagnose A+. Plus. Then his man-to-man -man coverage. He had 13 interceptions as an outside linebacker. Hand usage, A+. Plus. Very aggressive football player, A+. Plus. And he played for a coach that was very aggressive that drafted him by the name of Bon Phillips, as I just mentioned. But what I like about him and remember about him when I went to the University of Arkansas as a true freshman, the 7-8 team that got to the playoffs and that defense he played on. Evan Bethea and Curly Cole. Evan Bethea out of North Carolina a and t Then at the linebacker position, had Ted Thompson, who used to be the former GM on the Green Bay Packers just past this past year. Then they had Steve Connor at the University of Tennessee. And they lost to the great Steeler team in 7-8. But they came back the next year. Same situation, just couldn't get on the hump. But the defense changed a little bit who he played with. He brought his teammate Vernon Perry along. Ted Washington out of Mississippi Valley. Daryl Hunt out of Bumasuna, Oklahoma. That 78 and 79 Houston Oilers defense was off the change. And they had a running back that carried them out of Tyler, Texas. Hook them horns, Earl Campbell. But let me get back to Mr. Brazil. See, that special football players that don't really get their due. And we all know when Robert Brazil was playing from 75 to 84, it wasn't a lot of focus on the outside linebacker position. It wasn't a lot of focus on the 3-4. But make no bones, he was setting the tone. He was setting for all the other guys to follow him. See, when he made his debut on September 21st, 1975, against the New England Patriots, the Houston Oilers shut out New England 7-0. But the commentators, the people through the NFL said, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Human wrecking ball. Mr. Keel shot. That's a monster. That's down there in Houston, Texas. And he's going to change the focus of the NFL. And think about this. At the outside linebacker position, he had 13 interceptions in his career. 13 interceptions. So that means he was an outstanding linebacker in man-to-man -man coverage that you have to have these days to play that position. And then out of his 13 interceptions, he intercepted Terry Bradshaw. One time, intercepted Jim Hart one time. Lord have mercy. He intercepted Ken Anderson three times. He intercepted all the great quarterbacks during that time that was playing. And make no bones when Pittsburgh played Houston in them playoff games. You didn't have to worry about Dr. Doom, Robert Bazil. But this is what I really like about Robert Bazil. We don't talk about him when we get excited about all these great outside linebacker and his rush defensive ends in the National Football League that's coming into the league. So we got excited about Kayvon Tippabo this year. 
We got excited about Trayvon Walker, go dogs who went number one. We got excited about Aiden Hutchinson. We got excited about Devin Floyd out of Utah. We got excited about Nicobe Dean out of Georgia. We got excited about Channing Tindale out of Georgia because they have the skill set of rushing the pass and playing the outside linebacker position and playing the rush in. And that's a game changer in the National Football League. Can I say Nick Boza? Can I say Joy Boza? Can I say Khalil Mack? Can I say Mick, Michael Parsons? That position can change the defense when you got a, a gentleman that can get after the quarterback. But this is what really, really makes me upset. We talk about all the great linebackers in the outside position that can rush the passer, that can get out to the quarterback, that can play in coverage, that can really, really bring the heat. Just basically a linebacker that can do it all and be like a missile out there on the field. But nobody talk about Robert Brazil, who played 10 years, 1975 to 1984. He could have played longer, but he stepped away from the game because his wife was killed in a car wreck. And he just decided not to return in 1985. But he's the gentleman, the pioneer, a new line of thought that started the outside linebacker position. And it upsets me that nobody talks about him, about being a pioneer. I wonder why. Is it because he went to Jackson State? Is it because he went to the Houston Oilers? And he played on the team that went from Miller to Pack and played the Steelers? Everybody talk about the great Steelers linebackers, Jack Ham, Jack Lambert. But make no bones. I would never take neither one of them over Robert Brazil. And they went into the Hall of Fame early. And Robert Brazil had to go in the senior induction. But this is what gets upset me. Who came after him? They get all the love. Lawrence Taylor, Andre Tippett, Wilbur Marshall, Derek Thomas, Charles Haley. Greg Lloyd, Kevin Green, Chad Brown, James Harrison, Von Miller, Who Green, Cornelius Bennett. Well, you think all y'all emulated the game? Who you think you got your skill set from? Who you think you watched before you? It was a young man out of Mobile, Alabama, Viga High School, that set the tone for the 3-4 outside linebacker and rush defensive end. And I hear all these commentators, all these shows, NFL Network, I'm putting you on blast today. 680 Fan, I'm putting you on blast today. 92.9, I'm putting you on blast today. I'm sorry, frat brother, Hugh Douglas. It's amazing to me. It's disheartening. It's that nobody mentioned Robert Bazile, who started this. It's unbelievable. ESPN, nobody. When they talk about the great linebackers and rushing the passer, this young man in the 75 NFL draft changed the thought of this position along with another great HBCU guy that came in the league by the name of Thomas Hollywood Henderson out of Langston. And all I'm saying is size, speed, hitting power, tackling, key and diagnose. 
those two gentlemen set the tone for the position, and that's why everybody's getting paid. So when everybody has that argument about Ray Lewis, Lawrence Taylor, even Patrick Willis, out of Ole Miss, by the way, the San Francisco 49ers, the great linebackers that play this game. Let me say it one more time. Lawrence Taylor, Andre Tippett, Wilbur Marshall, Derrick Brooks, Derrick Thomas, James Harrison. Nobody mentions Robert Brazil that's in the tone. All you stations out there, I hope you watch this video today. Do me a favor, mention Robert Brazil that's being a pioneer and changing his position. But see, God is in this plan. When Mr. Brazil stepped away from the game, Houston was losing. He lost his wife. So he said, you know what? I played a long time, so I made my imprint on the game. But what I love about Robert Brazil, he stepped away from the game. And he went back to his hometown of Mobile, Alabama. And he became a middle school teacher. And this is what hurts. This will bring love to my heart. See, when a person is right, they right. You know what he was a middle school teacher of? He was a middle school teacher of special education children and special needs. And I saw him on the interview and he said, with tears in his eyes, he said, I played 10 years in the National Football League. But being a middle school teacher in my hometown in Mobile, Alabama, working with special needs children, it's more fulfilling than me playing in the National Football League. It's a rush that nobody can understand. That's very deep. That's very deep. Doing these videos on these great players from the HBCU schools, the SWAT, you find a lot of things about them, the determination, the ability. But remember this, I mentioned Notre Dame, Alabama, USC, they had the greatest facilities in the world. But think about what Jackson State had. And still, Bon Phillips took this gentleman in the first round six pick overall. If you like the video today, please come in and share it. Robert Bazile, the pioneer of the outside linebacker position. I want to give special thanks to Mr. Logan Landers for making it happen for me this morning. And to my man, Mr. Mark Bass, for his introduction. The only thing that I can think about Robert Bazile is this. The group parliament. We're going to tear the roof off this sucker. Tear the roof off this mother sucker. You got that real type of thing going, getting down. There's a whole lot of rhythm going around. Robert Bazille, baby. Jackson State University. Thank you. It's some in the water, Mississippi. I need some Chester Turner. Y'all be blessed on 100 yards of football.